stretch in the wire for the beans. You hate to be in the garden and it this wet, but time is limited. What, bub? They're beans. They're beans. They're more beans. Four more. rows of beans. Yeah. They're all looking really good. Yeah, they're looking good. Barely any spots on them. So Keith uses bob wire for the top of the, for the beans to run up. He's doing, been doing it for a few years now and it's worked really good. It's real sturdy. Until you get to the end of the row. Yeah, until you get to the end of the row and it ain't no fun. He'll just put the bob wire up there and then you tie, what is that, the twine? Baling twine. The baling twine for him to run up. So these are the white half runners. Is it the Kentucky Mountaineer ones? Is that what we planted? I think that's what it said. Okay. He's having to set another post to support the just lay it down right there and then you'll get it. To support the bean, um, the wire for the bean vines. I'll get it out in a minute to support the bean vines. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all your wires. You are? Yeah. Why? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm gonna take my. I'm I don't want on the back. I just won't go fast. I want. You reach for the hammer? Yeah. You need it to do it yourself. Thank you. So he's just taking the, is it baling twine? Yep. And running it from the top to the bottom. He put a strand at the bottom and then he ties to the bob wire. That's what our beans run up. Slow process, but it works good. It's very sturdy. We've tried several different methods and this is what we've went back to for what, the last two years? Yeah. This will be the third. It's a little too wet for us to till between the rows. I've been trying to walk through them and try to knock down. So we got some more um, cattle panels put up for tomatoes. We got some more tomatoes we're gonna plant. What kind are the ones we're planting? Beef steak? 
Okay. We planted beef steak and giant Belgium today. And then we've got celebrity, right? More celebrities? Is it more celebrities we're planting? Still, too, still a little too wet for, uh, for him to run the tiller through. He got some of the wires. Okay. He got some of the beans strung up. You can see them. Just need it to dry up a little bit more. Here's the peas. Peas. Huh? They've not started blooming yet. We kind of planted them a little late. Are those peas? Yeah. Oh, peas. Peas. Now, let me get there yet. You still have a plant them right there. Huh? You still have one right there. I bet there's two. Mm -hmm. We planted some giant pumpkins. Where's the black oh. ones? Uh, they've not sprouted yet. We're waiting on them to sprout. Planted one, two, three, four, five. Eight of them. We got some more we need to plant. We just let them grow over this hill so that they don't take up our garden. The vine, vines, because the vines get pretty big. What's that? A seed right there. Got some. No, there's some food. Strawberries getting ready to turn. Oh, here's all kinds. What? There we go. We got the first round of the tomatoes tied up and we'll just tie, keep tying them up as they get bigger. We just use that roll of bell and twine. How many cucumber plants did we plant? One, two, three, four, five. This one has all kinds on it. Four to four. <clears throat> it's counting down there? Four to four, all together. So we got 44 cucumber plants. Got two yellow squash, four zucchini, here's the broccoli. I saw some people um, already had broccoli in like Tennessee growing in their garden. Ours hasn't even headed yet, but they may have planted it before we did. Cabbages. We have so many rabbits this year and they're they're working on our cabbages. Usually the dogs will keep them ran out, but So how is your all's gardens doing this year? Um, are you facing any challenges? For us it will be crows, slugs, the rain. But um, everything's starting to look a little bit better, and hopefully it'll be a good garden year. But I hope you all have a blessed day, and I hope you all have um, great success with your gardens.